More questions? I mean, any questions, fair game. And it's a new program, and I know the Warriors has kind of been this travel thing, and now it's the house leg. I want everybody to feel comfortable that we're treating it with the same professionalism. And we took it over by choice. It was not, you know, it was to make sure that we kept it going in the community. I don't know if you mentioned this earlier on, but is there a tryout? There's, there was a tryout for, there's two things. This is important for spring because it, it, at most of the youth levels, we've left one or two spaces for kids, like I said, they show up out of nowhere and all of a sudden they want to, you know, they want to play travel. We'll evaluate kids in the spring to add one or two. We don't, JV and varsity, we're pretty much, we're, we're stacked to where we are. We can't take any more kids at that level. On the U15, 13, and 11, definitely 11, we can take more kids for the travel team. And frankly, at 11, it's most of the kids who want to do it are your travel team. They haven't, at U11, they haven't demonstrated this elitist talent that's going to. Right, I was, was cherry picking on U13. That's fine, yeah, and U13's fine too. Like I said, we'll leave a couple spots. Uh, your son should make himself known that he wants to be considered for it, and the coaches will evaluate him. We, we do that regularly. We, rather than peel kids off of a team, which we'll never do, we leave a little bit of space, a little bit of room there to expand it. Okay, so first day of practice, let the coach know. Yeah, first day of practice, let the coach know. Right, exactly who he is, and that you're interested in, exactly. Okay. And they'll watch, and then we'll notify you right away of what's going on for yeah, yeah. summer travel. Okay. Where are you getting your coaches from? Uh, we've got a mix. We're actually integrated with the high school now, the high school coaching staff, which is Coach Sullivan's here. He's a head coach of the varsity yeah. team. For those who don't know me, I'm Brady Sullivan. I run the varsity program here. Uh, this is John Larson. He's one of my JV coaches this year. He's a former player. He graduated in 2011. Um, between, I know Tyler Cobble, one of my 2010 grads, is helping run Warriors. Uh, Coach Larson is going to be working with our JV, so he knows all the offense and defense we're running at the high school, all the terminology. Uh, we're starting to get our coaches to help out in the summer. There's a bunch of us who are helping. Uh, during the spring, it's a little harder because we have you know, our teams here. But uh, Coach Lurson's going to be able to get there after our practices to, to help run things. And uh, as all of them have to said. complete background checks and the, the state certification for coaching. Okay. So that will be every coach. I mean, there'll be a dad, helper, or whoever else it is. But every every team will have a paid coach that will have completed certification, which will include first aid and everything else, and full background checks. I was more curious about whether anybody was coming back from across America to coach or if it was going to be. No, probably not. I mean, obviously, if you're, if we've got actually a pretty thick pool of coaches right now. Um, we'd be happy. I mean, if there are people you know of that want to come back. Do you guys have any questions about what, what Lacrosse America did or what they changed? I mean, they basically got out of running the leagues. They're growing more focused on tournaments. So they're, they're, they're to help yeah. support us, but their big thing right now is running Pipe City, running Kentucky, running, uh, they know about New Brewtown? Yeah, they're doing Geneva. Yeah, Geneva. Yeah. You know, that, that's their, their real warehouse, you know, wheelhouse now. Yeah. And that's where, you know, just over the last couple of years, like, you know, you really guys, you ever thought about just doing this in-house? And now it's just made it mandatory that every community has to do this themselves. It's just, we, we're kind of in front of the curve. Yes. Can you explain again why did you switch uh, conference as far as where to play? Because the competition we were playing, our kids were beating teams 15, 20, 22 to 1 to nothing. And it was, first of all, I didn't think it was fair to the teams we were playing. Second of all, our kids were not getting any better. And actually, you digress. Now, that wasn't at every level, but a lot of the levels. And you know, our philosophy, and you'll hear this all the way through if they play travel, my philosophy is, you know, the plastic trophies, I'm happy to give them out at the beginning of the tournament to get it out of the way if that's what they want, but we're gonna take them to the level of competition, not where they're getting killed, but they're gonna get challenged. If we sweep a tournament, I pick the wrong tournament for you because the kids aren't gonna get any better unless we keep putting them in a little better competition. They should come out of a tournament, you know, about 500, and I feel like we put them in front of the right competition.
as the coach of the high school, this is the conference I would want our youth at. Because while they're learning the fundamentals, and I've, I've seen Coach Burns coach, he's helped out at the high school with us, he's coached with our JV the last few years. Uh, he pushes the fundamentals, which I think a youth, it's learning to you know, use both hands, move to the right places, play good positioning, and that's really what we're looking to do, is start getting them the fundamentals. You can get away with not using fundamentals against the teams in the old conference. When you're playing against the teams like Lake Forest and Loyola, these guys who've been playing for a while, now you really have to work at doing those, those basics right. And we're not fail some. We're not have tough games, we'll have good games, but that's how we're gonna get better. And so I, I think it's a good opportunity for the youth to really work and improve but you know, now we can keep everybody involved in playing together as a community, which for us, the more they play together early, and if some go to different travel teams, that, you know, that's okay, um, but they, they're getting the chance to play together, all of them, and then they start to get that camaraderie, which is, is going to help them when they get to meet one day. The important thing is at this youth level, especially in the spring, they have fun and they want to come back and do it again. I know football can get intense sometimes, Cross is a lot more casual in the sense of a season when it plays through, they can play summer for fun. We want to keep it fun for them. We don't want to get burned out on it. It's a catch-all sport for those of you who haven't seen it, but it's really most closely assimilates to basketball, which people have trouble understanding, but it is. The picking, the driving, the right and left hand, the defense, the offense move exactly like they do in basketball. Hand-eye coordination of hockey um, and the throwing mechanics of baseball. Kids have played any of these things and they're halfway athletic, that's it. Takes all the shapes, sizes, speeds. It's really a neat catch-all sport. I grew up playing on the East Coast, um, played my whole life. I played Division I lacrosse and I love, out here what we see now is, where you would have never seen it, there's a steady stream of kids leaving here now going and playing in Division I programs. And they're also in the Midwest, huge Division I programs coming across this far and away the fastest growing sport in America. And getting them involved early at this age is perfect. I mean, Marquette, Michigan, all those people are getting teams now, Division One, they'll be Division One powerhouse teams. The Midwest is consistently uh, in the Final Four, if not close, with Ohio State, Notre Dame, all this Denver, they're all, it's all over now. It's not just an East Coast sport. If you have friends that want to try it or want to learn about it, I mean, there are a couple of options depending on their age. Um, Coach Sullivan's going to conduct an intro to lacrosse camp this summer, which is really helpful if they just if they don't have any idea what they want to do. And the others, I just encourage them to come out. I mean, it is, it, it's not going to be intense. It's going to be fundamental learning. The coaches are all positive coaches. We watch them closely. We want to know if there's somebody that's not following our philosophy, but it is really about having kids at the youth level come back and want to come back every year and want to play some more. That's all we want to do at this level. We want them to develop fundamentally and want to come back every year, that's it. Any more questions? Anything's fair game. Do you know what spirit wear is going to be open? Um, I mean, you'd ask a question to the mic. Should be able to answer. Sure. I don't know that answer when we get back to you on that one. Yeah, the only because your kids will ask about it. The spirit wear is pretty cool and super affordable, so they like it. We have a website. The word you will have it um, at the red on the registration site. You can see it. Um, but if you have any questions, it's a mailbox. It really goes to three or four of the coaches and. Tiffany is our new league admin administrator, and as Coach Sullivan said, um, Tyler Cobb will be coming back in the summer. He's going to GM. Believe it or not, I've got another full-time job that I'm doing and trying to bring all this together at the same time, but Tyler's going to integrate himself in that. Um, Coach Sullivan and his coaching staff are going to be actively involved in the summer piece of it, um, and Coach Lurson is going to be GMing in the spring, so you're going to see him at the fields for all the games and all the practices. So if you have any questions, send it to that mailbox. That's Tiffany in the back. She's the brains behind the operation, trust me. Um, but reach out with any question, no question, too big, too small. All right, thank you for coming tonight.